After the goalless draw in Kumasi on Friday, the Super Eagles of Nigeria are back in Abuja and they are currently going through their second training session ahead of the second leg on Tuesday. The session is being held behind closed door for maximum concentration. At full time, Nigeria was beat Ghana over a penalty shootout in the case of a goalless draw after extra time to advance to the Qatar 2022 World Cup. But in case of any score drop, the Ghanaians will advance at the expense of Nigeria on the way go rule. Meanwhile, the FCT Minister Mohamed Bello has announced the availability of our 100 buses to convey people from different parts of Abuja to the stadium. But what remains unclear is the people of the Federal Capital Territory are in the mood for this crucial encounter. I believe if our NFA can reduce the money like at, at least like 1,000 or 500 or 1,500. I believe this stadium is, is full of uh, spectators. It's a long um, Super Ego play on this uh, you know, stadium. So it's possible to get that, uh, that number. They want the support for the fans, uh, for the Super Egos. And if you can have that, I think 60,000 capacity, if you can't even get 60,000, if you have 50,000, we will get it right against the team. In the meantime, hundreds of volunteers are around the stadium cleaning up the facility to get it in proper shape ahead of the match. Beyond the job, for us, it is the satisfaction of cleaning um, the gallery in preparation for the victory of the Super Eagles on, on Tuesday. The spirit is high and we're really, really looking forward to the amazing job that the Super Eagles are going to do in representing Nigeria. While the also to fill up the 60,000 capacity stadium is on, other technical works like the installation of VAR are being done, while Nigeria's opponents, Ghana, are expected to arrive on Monday. From the MKO Abiola Stadium in Abuja, Abiodun Adewali, OSRC News.